And look at your motherfucking shirt. See, this is what I'm talking about. This guy's in cahoots. This loose cannon guy is is in the mix. You're out here representing his brand. Well, whose brand? That's that loose cannon merch that they gave us. What does it mean? Instantaneous bowel movement? No, 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 no. What is it? I don't think it meant that. But the fact... Show me your back. Show me your butt. (laughs) Yo, bro, it butt. says it on the back. I'll the look. Back, Skunk, mother. tell us what Your it says. Your mind is f***ed <laughs> up. You said butt. Are you okay? I know, and then I got a flashback to that picture. <laughs> what picture? Let's get it on. Yeah, I, I sleep asshole naked. Skunk, what does it say? I don't know what it says. Skunk can't read. Huh? Integrity before money. Integrity, Integrity before, money. before money. For you, I feel like it's more like clout before money or integrity. I don't give a about clout. You think I <laughs> about clout? Haven't you realized that whack doesn't give a f- whatever it brings, it brings. Now, if it's something I'm doing or saying just so happens to bring some clout, so be it. If it brings angry motherfuckers, it brings enemies, it brings friends, I don't give a f***. Everyone is motivated by different things. Some people are motivated by money. Some people are motivated by, by fame. Truth. Some people are motivated by clout or sex. With you, I feel like you're most motivated by chaos. No. You just want to blow shit up. I leave that to you people. And um, uh, Ted Kaczynski and the rest of you came tonight, right? If you want to talk about who's blowing shit up, I feel like white people are a pretty small minority. Bro. Crazy the mouth. They ain't Negroes. Well, no, no. Definitely agree, not yeah. us. Right? Okay. So <clears throat> what agree, I'm man. saying is this. The fact. That you knew this was Loose Cannon's brand. They gave me one, too. I could go put it on right now. I mean, yo, bro, look, man. I just put on a hoodie and rode out. You know what I'm saying? No, I think you're riding out for your homie. Loose Cannon? That you guys That's are, You guys are doing a little bit of shady business together. Not shady. Uh, might be, um, you know, me and Loose Cannon been comrades for quite some time. We fooled the streets. What about those Did you lashes? hear the Loose Cannon diss song on me? Yeah, and you, I, I feel like you're lying when you say that it was all premeditated it and planned was. out. It was. He told me that's what he wanted to do. I told him to do it. I don't know. Do you really think I'm going to have a mother sitting here with me? Like, let's just be. You, let's thing, rewrite you know. history and make it like the diss song was something that I was already in on. So anything you said in the diss song isn't real. Now that's why we're on good terms. Loose. I can totally imagine you saying, like, listen, you're going to say that the diss song that you made, I was in on it and we planned Let all that out. Let me you on something. One thing about that's a total whack Lu- no, play. One thing about Loose Cannon, he's a businessman. Is he? Yeah, his rap and all that he does, that's for his own personal entertainment. Me and Lucy did a few real estate deals, you know, a few things. He he brought brought me clients to do things, people that's losing distressed properties and shit. Mm. You know, he knows who he knows. Okay. But, you know, within doing that, when you start having conversations with somebody and you realize the person in the middle it's like, wait, he said what? And you like, wait, he said what? You like, you start crossing it and you start to understand what it is. So I rolled the dice. It was risky for me because they from the same neighborhood. So I rolled the dice and just put a few things on the table. He looked at me. I said, you think of what I'm thinking? He like, yeah. I said, well, fuck it. We going to leave it as is. Nobody ever knew that we was even doing the other business. I never did any music business with him. Okay. So you never would see me at a concert or doing any feature rate with Loose. Loose always called me about other shit, right? So that's why I respect his business hand. I liked him as a podcaster. I feel like a lot of information has been brought to the table since that makes me really, really call into question quite a few of the claims that were made on here. Well, unless Loose is sitting here, we can't question the claims. The only reason why I allowed him to do what he did is because he has the things he has in his phone. And if I wouldn't have seen him, Across the board, I wouldn't have let him say what he said. So, so you've seen additional evidence that goes beyond what was said on the I last seen, episode of this podcast. I've seen the arrangements from the people he said paid him to certain females. I've seen what he's talking about. I got calls from, you know, the the baby mama of Nipsey. That's his cousin. You do know that, right? The girl on the sex tape is his cousin. Okay. Right. So he's a little more tired. In. And I know what his position is with certain people. Regardless of what anybody's saying, your little minions, I know who was a hey, call such and such. Tell them pull up on us. Right. OK. It's just like me. Watch this. 
a year from now, I bump heads one of my dudes, and you hear me saying, little John, he ain't nobody. Huh? Such and such, he ain't nobody. You're going to say, hey, whack. Whenever I seen you, I seen him. So if he's saying something, it's a good possibility. It might be some truth to it because he's very, very close to you. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you all of a sudden are saying something and I'm knowing, Mo, you wasn't leaving your house till that nigga was outside. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that shit. I guess like for me, my concern is less the facts of what may have occurred in these situations and more so the reality of the fact that you appear to be using no jumper as a platform by which you can push narratives that negatively no. impact people that you consider to be no. your enemies. You can't say that. That's your little high guy in your ear. I feel like, like most of the audience probably like, is kind of on board with no, that. that they're, they're getting these hold vibes on, as well. First of all, it was a lot of content, a lot of topics discussed. That Most of it wasn't really like viral that everybody was talking about, right? There was like a few things in particular that really well, stood out. That's all you need on any motherfucking segment. I mean, it's very few segments where you get viral minute, second one to to the two hundred to the second hour. Viral is not always worth it just for the sake of being viral. Well, listen, we don't dictate what's viral. The people dictate what they see and if they watch it and watch it and share it and share it and share it. Because guess what? They use my name on this motherfucker a whole lot to Who? go viral. Who? Your little minions. Who? Are they really? Oh, that's a fact. Who? You talking about Brick and Sharp? Well, Sharp really don't do it. Okay. Sharp, Sharp will answer questions. Uh huh. Sharp really don't do it. Sharp really don't give a fuck like that. Mm. But for instance... Everything going on with them internally, what you mentioned me for? Motherfucker 600 was just up here with Brick. Right. You smiling, taking pictures. <laughs> See, I can't respect that punk shit. You just up here with 600, smiling, taking pictures, and then the next day. Got to disavow it. You talking crazy because he getting pressure. But I'm going to let you know, Brick, tread lightly because those 600 got you in the pickle. And phone conversations, you calling about what they're making you do. And they give me some wrong information, my brother. So they finna fry his ass up anyway. The 600 conversation that I had that came out yesterday, I feel like... I had nothing to do with it. I wasn't here. That's true. I He asked me, you down to do an interview? I said, yes. The big you portion of that interview was relatively minor, and it mostly just concerned him having this job with the city or whatever that some people decide they want to portray as snitching. A lot of people probably wouldn't portray it that way. It's definitely snitching. Oh. You wouldn't. Because you're a white guy, you're a civilian. Oh, you want to talk snitching? I would have someone do a crime to me, and then I would call the cops and break it down and explain to them exactly what happened. Actually, if you have any good but contacts not, with the cops, that would be great. That's not snitching for you because you're a civilian. Bingo. I would never call you a snitch. I would tell the motherfucker that did something in front of you or to you. Well, if you wasn't going to go all the way, you shouldn't have did it at all. Yeah, if you want to tell like your, your friends, like, don't sell Adam a kilo of cocaine, that's fine. 